The trap inside the church is set, but will the strange shushy cultists fall for it? The Oxventure continues in part two, here on Outside Extra. You are listening out for it. Um, between the sort of the, the peal of the bell, you hear sort of footsteps sort of padding up. Who's closest to the door? Is anyone especially near the door? He's got um, a column by the door. Probably Dob, our tank. Yeah. Dob. Okay, you, yeah, I'm closest to the door. You uh, hear a voice go, Ready, man. Hodge. <laughs> and then you hear it sort of like more frantic, like, it's like the pitter patter of little feet. As, uh, let's see how this goes. <laughs> You're all quite disappointed oh. uh, by the first of uh, the knights charging in, who sort of like turns his ankle a little bit, but carries on trembling. Uh, mm. Nice next... grief, Corazon. Well, I'm new to magic. Tell me about this trap. It takes uh, 2d4 piercing damage for okay. every five feet. I feel like it would do more damage with the extra acceleration from the grease. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. I thought it was like a pungy pit, but it's just, you just put cow traps everywhere. Yes. And these guys cool. are trying to roll over it, yeah. uh, run over it rather. Wow, okay. Oh no, he has not seen that. Don't worry about a thing. Uh, right. Okay. Do it. So. What you got? Three. Yeah. And four. Yeah. Yeah. Three. Yes. And one. Uh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. All right. You like... guys are scary now. <laughs> oh, Marilyn. Is he? Is he? Screaming in pain very quietly. Yes! He pretty like he runs and like he sort of like so he, he he gets across the grease, runs five foot into it, like when you start runs five foot out of the radius, and then just kind of goes like and just coughs up a load of blood. Oh dear. Because like and slumps down. He's not dead, but he's just like, oh because he's so oh. nearly dead. Yikes, wow. okay. What a way to go. Where did he get spiked? Like it's in like the, everywhere. <laughs> it seemed like the spikes just sort of had a cumulative effect where oh. they just kept going. Nice oh. work. It, oh. it doesn't make a lot of sense to any of you, but oh boy, his yeah. feet have been stabbed to near death. I nice. ring the bell more to further confuse and terrify people <laughs> who are coming in. Wow, nature. Yeah. Um, so the next guy comes running in and then just turns into like a human bobsleigh <laughs> as he slides down there. Nice. And I am gonna get greased. You know what, I'm gonna roll a d10 to see how many feet they go. That's just five, so can you roll 2d4 again, see how much damage that is? Two and one. Three, okay. Uh, you hear them sort of like, trying, desperately trying not to scream, like, <coughs> as they take a lot of, uh, just a lot of spikes Jeez. in the back oh of their legs. And the bum. Uh, <laughs> the next one comes clattering to the ground, um, and you hear the other ones are like, <laughs> As they slide along, this guy goes, okay, it's uh, six feet, so that's uh, just another 2D. Man, this is a meat grinder. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrifying. Three and one. Four damn, he's not fared much better either. <laughs> he's in a pretty bad way. The next one, he is on his feet. And, oh no, he does not see that either. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let the name fool you, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really a floor. <laughs> he runs a full ten foot oh. into these spikes before realising it's a bad idea and just stops. So roll... Three and two. So that's five. One and four. And five. <laughs> and it's a full ten. <laughs> he just runs and you see him stop and go like... Hmm. <laughs> and then he just... Falls straight onto his face. <laughs> Dead. No! Oh, one down. I'm starting to feel bad about this. Oh, man. A little bit. Little bit. <laughs> Next guy stacks it. <laughs> <laughs> Meryl wins meat grinder. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes 10 foot. <laughs> so roll. Two <laughs> and two. What? I'm imagining he gets like ground down. <laughs> <in the face. laughs> like, He's just like shoulder to shoulder. Two and two. Four. Eight total. Eight total. My God. Yeah. He is pretty much like the first guy. He's just like, <laughs> like <laughs> just trying to keep it together. Oh, In fact, no, this guy's not coughing up blood. He's just like holding his feet. Oh. Desperately ah. trying to get ah. his shredded ah. limbs. Ah. And then the last guy. 
I vomit oh. over the side of the belt. <laughs> I, I put a second eye patch over the <laughs> The second guy. I cover. Sorry, the, the, sick, <laughs> the sixth and final guy, as you might expect, keeps his feet on the grease, and then it's just like. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just done it. He's not on the spikes. He's seen no, but it's just like. And I don't think any of you is in sight. They've just run into the <laughs> just like. <laughs> In fact, I think if, he, if any of you are reading lips, he's going to say, this place is cursed. <laughs> <laughs> and he turns and does a legger. Yeah. Like, oh, no. He's not even soft footing, he's just running. Like, right. You hear okay. him clank his way up the street and away. Okay. So we got four wounded, one dead, one escaped, right? Yeah. I'm going to go down and talk to the wounded guys who are presumably still in a bit of a... Whoa. Whoa. Are we in... We're not in combat. You're not in combat, no. Oh. Do we want to... I mean... I don't I'd like to go anyone... towards them and find out a bit about this order. <laughs> what if they... Can we... I feel like it's maybe cruel to leave them all suffering. All minced. Mm. I don't know. What, are How you many... saying I'm supposed to put them out of their misery? Well, I mean... Um, let me, go and talk, let me go and talk to them and see how they're feeling now that they've entered the curse. Do you want to chase okay. down the fleeing guy? Because he might, might get back be to the idea. castle. If yeah. your plan is I to wanna... sneak into yeah. the castle. I want to go back okay. over Greece. The... You F that. <laughs> who's, got, uh, who's got sleep? I do. What's the range on that? Sorry, let me, uh, let me say that in a more or less meta way. Yes. Dog, remember when you uh, made that guy fall asleep? Perfect. Yeah, previously. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, can, you, is that, can you do that at a range? Can you get that guy who's running? You're doing this all with... Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, all right. I um, I uh, swing round the, the the door. I guess I have to get back over the. Green. Only lost for ten oh, minutes. Yes. Is it is it still in play? Still in can I can oh, I, I cast prestidigitation to clean the grease as I run out the door? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Prestidigitation. Bam! Like that. That's clean. And then I'm like, Hua! And then I cast sleep on the fleeing uh, uh, guard. Okay, it's a 90 foot. 90 foot, yeah, he's, he's nearing <gasps> the edge of your range. Ah, so. better be quick then. <laughs> send it. Okay. Lick the uh, stamp and send it. As I'm bolting over, I shout, Cover your ears, fellas! Very good. You two, little jester. Flan Flanagan? Flannery! Flannery. Yes. Flannery. Maybe don't worry about it, Flannery. Flannery, <laughs> maybe just keep your ears open, Flannery. What? What's Flannery's response to all the death that's just happened? He's a changed man. No. <laughs> he's, he Capering. he's he seems more to sober. be paying only attention to you and your sort of energy level. So at the minute he's just really excited okay. because he's sort of like just capering around. <laughs> like, he's uh, looking at us and everything's happening behind him. He is, <laughs> so he is doing a merry jig around a bunch of paladins who are nice. trying not to die. Nice. <laughs> basically. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. No. You can. You can. Uh, you. You do put him to sleep. Um, Yes. Oh, yes. cool. Right. Bring him back. Yeah, you don't have to roll for, for sleep. It's sort of, it's a, it's a it's a thing that's meant to affect loads of creatures, so. Little guard, forget the horrors you've seen. <laughs> and go to sleep. Your dreams might be good. <laughs> he just hits the deck. He's going to be asleep for a minute. Don't forget. Okay, so, um, I... Uh, do you I, need me to tie him up? Have you got a rope? I think Stay I just, right? I leg it up there and I um, pop him over my shoulder and I come back to the church and on my way back I... Close the doors. Cool. We don't need any more witnesses. Yeah. Hey, Dom, do you want me to tie that guy up? Sure. All right, I'm going to tie him up. All right. You tie the guy up. I'd be making my way down the tower and I want to come and interrogate someone. Okay. Who, who's the best person? Who's the nearest Probably to Probably the death? one who's alive. Uh, the, the, the guy who's got all his health and is going to wake up in a minute. Okay. I'll talk to him then. Mm -hmm. And uh, he wakes up and I say, look at your friends. They're in a really bad state. Yeah. What's all this order about? Because I've not heard of it, and if I've not heard of it, usually it's not worth <laughs> knowing about. <laughs> if I've your order is garbage, friend. <laughs> yeah. what is it if I've not heard of it, it must mean Sorry, I left my book at home. at normal level. Not Dragon OTT, Lister. but like you know, yeah, a, a, a low sort of. Sort of like a commanding, like, well, look at this sort yeah, of thing. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I want to know well, why. Well, well, I want to well. fundamentally. Yeah. I want to know why everyone has to keep it down. Okay. What are we serving here? What's he the purpose? He looks at you with like just a, a look of fury. He's like. You are all heretics. Silence is holy and good. We should live our lives in, in quiet and supplication. In quiet and supplication. And we just don't want anyone coming in here and making noise, especially after half nine in the evenings. I wrapped the entirety of Wild Wild Wild. <laughs> <laughs> why, why half nine in particular? 
council rules. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Okay. The noise meter's been installed. <laughs> <laughs> um, these guys are bad. You're not going to convince yeah. them otherwise. Only oh, yeah. like to guide people toward the light in quiet contemplation. Right. Why? What's your order all about? Uh, well, mainly exploding things very loudly. Ah, heretic! You, maybe you're the heretic. Have you ever thought of that? No, you're the heretic. <laughs> no, you. No, you. All right. Well, this you. is an aggressive <laughs> conversation. You. All right. This is a lot of theology. He's yeah. trying to point at you. He's tied up. <laughs> Listen up, guard. Who was in the castle? Who's who's in charge of you guys? We are in charge of us. Our, our leader is holy and godlike. How, how many? So you do have a leader. Yes, but it's the theological thing. He's really not as up on the religion yeah. stuff as me. I know. Well, how how many of you are there oh, up there oh. in, the, in the castle? How many of you are there up there? I'm telling you that. Well, well do you see still... what's, your friends are writhing in agony on the yeah. ground? Do you want to be. Yeah, all... that's, oh, that's not my fault. Yeah, but it could happen to you as well. But, go up then. Okay. Uh, he seems pretty firm in his convictions. <laughs> I have a spell for this. What, what is it? What? 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 Is it noisy? What? Something I learned on my open university course. Oh, yeah. oh. yeah, hello. Heat metal. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! You've learned to play the genre heat metal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. heat metal. <laughs> okay. I thought, I thought maybe you just might be like. like no, I really want to see how this works. You've been telling me about this course okay. that you've been on, and I'm really maybe, maybe, maybe I'll try a little persuasion. And then if that doesn't work, I, I really feel like this would persuade him more. I demonstrate heat metal so that he knows what's okay. okay. I, I'm gonna try I'm gonna try just talking persuasively to this guy and getting him to give us some intel on okay. the castle. But we had that conversation deliberately loud so he yeah. knows so he knows what's going on. Heat metal on. might be on the cars later on. Look, mate, come on. Look at all the I mean, all that. Are they still of, suffering? Yeah. The others. Yeah. They're, all right. Yeah, yeah, they're really not in a good way. Like okay. several of them are close to death. Oh man. <laughs> Look at this pile of mints that was <laughs> the other paladins. Uh, you don't really know about that, do you? Like this, this, this bard, he's crazy. Like he's. Oh no, you know he's about to. Dog, dog. dog. Heat dog. metal? No, 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 no. Look, the only way, the only way you're gonna get out of this without getting heat metal, and believe me, you do heat not want to get heat metal. No, no, I didn't. No, not heat metal. The only way you're gonna get out of this. One piece is if you work with me, I want to help you. I don't believe you. Look what you've done to my man. Now, how does it I, go? Is it like? Hey, ah, 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 ah. Hey, all right, let me look. I want to help you. You want to get out of here? You want to go back to your life of contemplative silence? Then you've got to work with us as well. Look, none of you understand. Our, our work here is very important. There are things, there are consequences to noise. All right, well, help me understand the consequences. We don't like it. Okay, well, that's not a very good concept. <laughs> no, just tell me what's going on up, up at the castle, how many people there are. You'll get out of here without getting heat dob. No, I, he, I know when he gets that look in his eyes. Uh, I know. Uh, uh, to what end? What do you want in the castle? We want you guys to get out of here. You've taken over this town. No one wants you here. You've ruined the lives of the citizens. Go and find your own oh, city. The gold wheels. Don't forget the gold wheels. Do not mention the gold wheels. We're in it for altruistic ah. reasons. Remember, that's fine. No, 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 nothing. He's, uh, <laughs> forget, forget him. Look, go away and find your own town where you can be silent all you want. Don't impose your stupid, sorry, your good silence religion on everyone in this town. They hate it. They hate you. They want you out. Make me a charisma persuasion check. Uh, this is a 20. 19. Yes. yes. And uh, plus three. Yeah. Plus two. Nicely done. Thanks. All right. A lifetime of religious study, and you've turned it over by just being a bitch, aren't you? Something like, I don't like this yeah. guy. <laughs> you see his shoulders slump, and he's like, oh, there, are, there are ten more in the castle. Okay. But listen, I, I don't know what it is you want, but we can't leave. It's impossible. Why can't you leave? Why can't you just go to a empty town and set up your silent, silent bill there. There are, there are things you do not understand. My order does not permit me to speak of them. Is do it a giant griffin that turns up if we're noisy? No. You have to say okay. it's a giant griffin. It's not a giant griffin <laughs> that turns up when you're too Small griffin. Medium it's sized. Not, it's not, it's not what kind of griffin is it? It's not, it's not, it's, it's not, not a griffin. Anything. It's just not a griffin. It's not a griffin. It's just not a griffin. Do what we're you want to me, but I, we can't leave. It's a griffin of situation. We won't I'm leave. glad we checked that though. I'm glad we cleared that up. I'm crossing off Griffin on the possible. Yeah, yeah no, what, exactly. hey, I just like to be prepared. What are these? It was those travelling minstrels sent you, wasn't it? You mentioned wheels. Yeah. 
Yeah, have you not seen the capering guy who's capering about? What? He brought one here? Yep, yeah. He's with them. Flannery, Flannery, he's Flannery he's where'd you go? The, he's kept the jingling down. Yeah. For now. Look, Flannery got... prances out, uh, sort of looks at you almost for permission. Yeah, yeah, yeah go for a little Flannery. bit. I give, I give him a curt nod. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. show him what you're doing. Ah, ah, ah. They're, no, they can't be allowed in. Their corrupting influence is, is too much. No! You've got to understand that your religion is stupid and everyone hates it. I didn't join this order to make friends. <laughs> right. Why okay. did you join it? Good benefits, healthcare, dental plan. Do you have that? Maybe. Ooh. Have you seen those dragon teeth? Look at those teeth! So shiny and pointy. Ooh. Yeah, good, shiny. Yeah. What are we going to do with all these half dead guards? Uh, big just pit. cook them in a thunder wave or what? Th throw them in a big pit. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Um, I, do they do they seem like they could survive this? Are these? Yeah. One like, of them. So one of them's dead. Two of them are uh, Ryan, you know. one point away from death. Yeah. The other two are like halfway there. Were well, we going to steal our outfits though? Right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's peel well, off we, their armor. We need to like get them out of the way. So if we were to like lock them up in the office, would that work? that work for everyone? What are you doing with the corpse? Are you stashing that with the other guys or? I don't think they should have to look at the corpse. That's kind. Probably, yeah. yeah. Let's um, place it on the altar in a really weird pose. So <laughs> if anyone comes yeah. along later, they think this was a cult. Yeah. Let's, let's put it in the John Travolta, <laughs> yeah. like Saturday boogie night. Saturday night fever. Yeah. I love the energy you're bringing to this yeah. job. All right, great. So we're just <laughs> gonna set up like that before rigor mortis sets in. Yeah, yeah. It comes and perfect. then hold it until the rigor mortis and then we can make it. Yeah. All right, perfect. So we're going to lock all the others in the office so they can't escape. We're going to make sure that bard. We lock them up before we stop manipulating yeah. the courts. So and we're going to take. Really weirded out. Yeah. We're going to take That's all correct. of their paladin outfits. Okay. Uh, and we're going to put those on. Great. Yeah. I hold up the armor that uh, that we've been pulling off. Um, are Egbert and I going to fit into this, guys? Do we reckon? Uh, I size it up to assess. Yeah, I think like maybe the previous plan where we take you guys as prisoner and we wear the armor and we walk you in and we say you were the ones making the noise and we've captured you and we brought you in to. I like that plan. Do the guards have like irons on them, like manacles for prisoners? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, there are there are a couple of sets of, of manacles. So if you, for example, crossed your yeah. your wrists exactly like that, oh, yeah. Um, yeah. So make we, sure they were yeah. loose. Okay, so we can put those on you, so it looks like you're wearing the manacles, but actually they're not locked into position, so you can spring free whenever Sounds you want. Sounds good. Cool. Yeah. Well, we still haven't decided what we're going to do with the guard who we've got tied up. Then. Uh, I'll leave him with the others. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, he can give them He's moral support the help, as they or attempt not to bleed to death. I mean, do we want him in our party to kind of? I think he's too much of a liability. Mm. Guys, <laughs> what are we going to do about Flanner, Flanner, Flannerhan? What's his name? <laughs> Flan Flannery. 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 There's, there's Flannery. Quite, there were six of them. He's already struggling into a suit of armor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Flannery's coming to mm. it. Massive, on yeah. <laughs> like it, the, the chest plate starts like up here, and it comes down to like the middle of his shins. Oh my god, Flannery, you're hilarious! It's sort of just like <laughs> it's not that he's a special, like he's he's kind of small, but like he's also very like uh, lean, so he's sort of like almost doubled up in the thing. He's like, oh, all right, guys, guys, Flannery can go at the back because he's the most obviously not. <laughs> no, I don't know. I've got to do something yeah, about these things. Yeah, right. well, we, we got helmets, right? No, no, they, they were helmets. Have helmets. helmets. Okay. okay, let's go well, in order right. of most right. obviously evil to least obviously evil. Okay, possibly, somewhere in the possibly unpopular yeah. plan. We kill Flannery. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, okay, no, no, forget it, forget it. Forget, cover, it. forget, it, forget I it. I cover his ears. Don't worry, Flannery. I've got, I've got, I'm okay. sure I've still got a dis disguise okay, kit left. I could disguise up those horns. Okay, do no, it. Cthulhu, if he were in the room, would be nudging you and be like, what's with these guys? <laughs> I don't know, Cthulhu! We're just, just like, talking to Cthulhu just, again. It's weird. <laughs> so like, rude. Yeah. I know that lo there aren't loads of tieflings around, but like, seriously, you couldn't do, you couldn't make better friends. Yep. Yeah, well, yeah. Mm, yeah. Would no. you like me to drive them insane? Minor illusion only lasts let's, for a minute, so uh, probably not much. I let's feel uncomfortable it, for let's reasons keep I don't quite pocket, understand. Let's put it in the back pocket, Cthulhu, and then we'll, we'll drive them insanely. I don't have pockets. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Does yeah. anyone else feel all cold and rigid? Yeah, I don't <laughs> feel pleasant for some reason. Yeah. Okay, I emerge from a trance. Does anyone else feel perched on the edge of an abyss? Yeah. <sighs> Always. Yeah. I was thinking I could turn into a cat. And sit That's on your answer to everything, Meryl Wen. <laughs> sit on what the horns. If? And just like, just I turned little... into a cat. What's the answer cat. for why have you got a, a cat on your horns? Or on your head? When what if it's off? a towel, like I've just washed my hair? I think, I think we're ignoring the fact that she also has red skin. I could I just be a prisoner. I could just be a prisoner. I think that would probably be yeah, the best. Yeah, that's probably no, but then the best. Oh, 
the few people come back. The few people come back because they all died in the fight. No, yeah, yeah, the few people come nothing. back because they were out scouting for the rest of them, and these yeah, they two ran the off and like, we'll bring the prisoners up. back. So the two and of us. Gone. All right. Okay. The Taking slimy, the armor off. Yeah, all right, yeah. Meryl Wen and still pretty covered in gore, but yeah. okay, no worries. <laughs> Meryl Wen and myself put on the armor, uh, and we put the manacles fakely on these guys. Yep. And before we throw the tied-up guy into the uh, room with the others, mm -hmm. I ask him if there's any security protocols or anything that I'm going to need to know when I get up to the castle. Like, is there a password or anything like that? It's not a password. It's a pass wave. Pass wave. Yes. Pass. Okay. Well, pass wave. what's the pass wave? Teach me the pass wave. Uh, Got it. Great. Sure. Thank you very much. You've been very helpful. Sure. Um, we'll be by to let you out on our way down. We totally uh, won't remember that. I hope they destroy you, you bunch of heretics. <gasps> well, you got any religious? Throw him on the spike track. Uh, how about that hot metal thing, Dob? Just a quick blast, just to. A little bit of heat metal. This uh, seems needlessly cruel. <laughs> you know what I could do is just. Warm it up a bit. Heal one of them. He looks down Just and back up. We're good. And reminds you that he's in his pants. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Meryl Wen and Corazon. Have, and, Flannery. and Flannery. And Flannery. We're wearing the so, armour. So the conceit that we're going with is that you and Meryl Wen captured and Flannery the have captured the, the dragon, the, the half-orc and the tiefling. The, yeah. the least humanoid. Yeah. These yeah. are the okay. people who were, uh, they were ringing the bell. Yep. We Making them. a ruckus. There was a big fight. They killed uh, three of our group. That's so right, we did. Early, but yeah, we approach the castle looking very regular, okay, uh, and official. Uh, do, do the Flannery wave. gives you a shove when you set up. <gasps> oh, Flannery. You might be getting a bit too into Flannery it. Flannery is like, liking this. Taste Classic of power. Flannery, yeah. <laughs> Flannery's great. You guys. It's like the Milgram experiment. <laughs> <laughs> You do you, Flannery. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still not messy. If we just killed Flannery, like I said, Flannery is an artist and he is in. Head, headspace. Just let him do his thing. Fine. He's right, his method. Right. You proceed up to uh, the castle um, and as you uh, step sort of in front of it, um, there is like a pressure plate that goes down mm. and at the very top of the castle, uh, a light goes on, uh, like a little torch goes, and you see someone poke their head over. Do the wave! I, Do I the wave. raise a finger to my lips and I, I wave in the way that I was shown by Flannery, the Flannery, do the wave! Guy. Yes. Good lad. Okay. Um, you see him sort of just go, and he, uh, he disappears, and then a moment later, from around the side, uh, you don't hear the door open. <laughs> but, uh, I become aware. Yeah, another torch goes on halfway down the castle wall over a green arrow <laughs> <laughs> that's pointing that way. In fact, there's a glass green out. arrow and a torch behind it goes Great. So, uh, okay, we proceed around the corner to the door that's just opened and enter the castle. All right, you, you do enter the castle. You enter into, um, there's like a small room with a reinforced door there to, you know, provide an extra layer of security where people try and storm it, but that door is open. There is a, a guard there to greet you. And um, who's who's in the armour? It's you see. Um, uh, yeah, and Flannery. And Flannery, right, okay. Yeah. Um, as you come through, Meryl, when he turns to you and whispers, reporting back. Yes. Who are these? These are the, the heretics who are ringing the bell. They are. There were some others, which is why only the two of us have come back. They've gone to go and find out the rest. We killed them, I say loudly. Shh! Hold your tongue, heretic. I say to the guy, I, I think I've seen the error of my ways. Why are these men not gagged? Sorry, men and women. Ah! <laughs> we built this thing! <laughs> He sort of like, <laughs> you see him dashing around trying to find socks or something to just like... There what was, kind there of no, music? There was no time, all of our equipment was burnt, there was, a, there was grease, there was bombs, it was... It was okay. Get your Roll. prisoners under control! I, everyone quiet or you'll all be put to death. Oh, okay. Good. Now listen to me, you go through there, the watch commander's going to debrief you. Okay. He's going to take, take your prisoners button. and lock them up. You must keep them under control or you'll be demerited so fast you won't even hear the sound of your own feet hitting the floor. Because even if they did, they're not meant to make any noise. <laughs> okay, get in there. Right. Okay, so right. To be 
Hustle. Nice to meet you. Fucking hell. Stop ruining it. Um, nice. As you sort of file out of the room, you hear uh, the telltale squeak of a bottle going dunk, and you hear him just go. Tch. <laughs> <laughs> um, clearly, you've just ruined his day, but never mind. Um, you proceed into uh, a big hall, which has a lot of columns with sort of like fluted arching sort of like uh, things reaching up to the ceiling. Um, it's very big, it, it, it stretches a long way. There are sort of mess benches, uh, all of them with padded undersides, uh, lots, just lots of padding on everything, so not much noise is going to be made. Um, and in the back of the room, there's sort of like uh, a high table, kind of like a dais with uh, banners of the order there. Um, and in the floor in front of that, there's kind of like a floor grating, um, and it's sort of lit from windows very high up, sort of filling the room with ambient light. It's quite beautiful, really. Very martial, but, but striking nonetheless. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, you proceed into this room, and after a minute or so, uh, during which Flannery, really, you can see he really wants to go capering. He's just like, <laughs> had to invite Flannery. Right. Um, a very officious looking man is wearing a, a, a sort of a tunic with the, the orders sort of sigil on it. Uh, comes out, he's sort of got like uh, ashen beard and like hair swept back. Um, and he just stands in front of you and whispers, Report. We went to investigate the sound of the ringing bell that was coming from the abandoned church. Good. We got there and we discovered this tiefling, this half orc. So Shh. And this curse kind of you, heretic. Along with three of their companions, a jester, a wood elf, and a pirate. Anyway, a, a fight ensued. We killed the other three that we don't have here. We were able to overpower these ones and we brought them back to face justice. Uh, make me a charisma persuasion check. We will make this a 15 because, you know, he's predisposed to believe you. All right. Because you're in disguise. It's either a one or a twenty. It's a twenty. Good work. Yeah, I mean. There'll be promotions for. Let's <laughs> <laughs> well, see. We have a turn coat. Um, when we're talking to you later, uh, you don't suppose they were part of that Fienge business, do you? I think they may have been sent Ugh. by the Fienge. We're never going to give those wheels back. Those are our wheels. Yeah, and just, I remember where we stored those wheels as well. Do you, do you remember? Of course I do, they're in the storeroom. Storeroom, yes, and that is near here, isn't it? Well, of course it is, yeah. yes. You just go out the room, and it's the second on the right. Second on the right, yeah, yeah. I remember, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, terrible business. Why? Well. No, it's just, it's good that we've got them. Yeah. <laughs> they can't, it's good that we've got those wheels, they, they won't be going anywhere. Yeah, no, I know. They're really valuable looking. Mm. Yeah, so I'm glad they're in that store. They're also it's really noisy, right. which is why we took yeah. them, because they're heretical, and they yes. were bringing noisy heretics. Yeah, it's, you it's good all, all round that the wheels are in that store. Right? Yes. Anyway, yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I tell you what, we'll lock these ones up in the dungeon, and then it will be just about time for, uh, for afternoon tea. So, um, yeah, come in. Um, he draws uh, a blade, like he draws a, a rapier, and he circles behind uh, you, Egbert, and he just mm -hmm. places the point of the rapier between your shoulder blades and goes, walk. I turn around to him. What do you, what do you, what do you do? Are we going loud? No. Okay. Well, we're not going loud. Uh-oh. I, I, I command him to shout. <gasps> What? What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> You're gonna bring everyone down on us. Edward's oh, gone us. I command the watch commander to shout. I love it. I love it. They're all gonna think he's a heretic. <laughs> Motion coming your way, watch commander. Okay. But I do it in a whisper, because he's so close. I mean, I could do it. Yeah, no, it totally way. works. So this uh, is a new spell you've got. This is a new spell This is one of my got. new spells. I can command people with a single word command I mean, let's do it. <laughs> I, love how, I love how we just run our plans by each other. Yeah. Carson, what's happening? 
Uh, Edward's going off script. <laughs> so, as far as you see I think, he, I think see he's it, trying to seduce the Watch Commander. <laughs> the Watch Commander places the, the point of a blade and tells, whispers in his ear to march. And you just see Egbert turn very, very slowly, lean forward. You don't even hear what he says. And suddenly the watch commander throws back his head and just goes, I'm the watch commander! I love my job! And then just goes like... Um, and you guys should be shocked. Yeah. Watch like, commander, what are you doing? Heresy. 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 Get him! Heresy! Heresy! I, I, you see, he's I grab the watch commander <laughs> and I clap him in irons. I cast... Wait, Wait no, no, do, don't do anything. Don't uh, you're going to have to roll for that, I think. That's got to be a, uh, a strength. Have you got fighting? I don't know. Okay. I, mean, I don't know. No. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Comma, no. No. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Uh, so and if I'll you go. want to grab him, that is strength athletics uh, versus my strength athletics. Uh, so whoever rolls higher okay. will win. If uh, you win, you'll grab the watch commander. Right. I rolled a 14. You rolled a 14? Yeah. Uh, so did I. Oh! <gasps> wow, okay. Yeah. Cool grapple. Uh, ah! And I have a plus one. Oh. No. So you go to um, grab the watch commander. Uh, what was your plan, Egbert? He jumps back and you see him take off running on the balls of his feet very quietly uh, towards a massive rope uh, that is like, just dangling in the middle of the room and he yanks <gasps> on it. No. And you see, you hear like a fluttering noise go <laughs> all the way around the top of the room as banners drop uh. down saying in massive red letters, heresy. Oh, and you well, hear that's very rich quiet like- That's you, shouty, <laughs> shouty You something. hear more, more, um, might be doing this in more banners. Too. Mm. going off further on down the corridor and then you start to hear feet rushing towards the room as the um, the watch commander then just kneels and puts his hands on yeah. his head oh. he does. and looks really sad. <laughs> okay. okay, right, this is this is fine. Let's, let's just see how this plays out. As, as they turn up, we're going to have to order them to seize the watch commander. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I like it. All right, so I, I wait for the approaching footsteps to get here. Yes, uh, 10 uh, of the order of uh, keeping things down rush into the room. They, uh, they rush into the room, swords already drawn, and just sort of try and get the, the lay of the land. They're brothers, brothers. I'm just pointing at the watch commander. I, I assume you heard the watch commander just shouting at the top of his lungs just now. They sort of, they, they look on. The Watch Commander has committed heresy. He must be thrown into the irons. From the back, there's sort of a youngish uh, soldier, um, like, just still looking very green and boyish. Just goes, but he loved his job. He did love he his did. job. He loved it so much, much he had to shout at the top of his lungs about it. He loved it more. And that is the, the true, religion. <laughs> the true <laughs> tragedy of the Watch Commander. <laughs> he loved his job more than he loved his religion. And that's why all of you have to now take him into a jail cell and go into the jail cell with him and make sure he's in the jail cell together. <laughs> we'll be behind to make sure he's in there with you. <laughs> that is definitely another charisma for Swanson check. And that's another 15. Oh. <laughs> Corison's feeling lucky today. Oh, it's a 10 plus. Uh. Uh, okay, my charisma modifier is three, and I have proficiency in persuasion. Yep, so that is a 15. 15. Yes! <laughs> Sorry, I mean, yes. No, no, it's fine. Uh, you, so one of them looks sort of more senior, scoops up the watch commander, sort of holding him like the upper arm, like a naughty child. He just sort of rises to his feet and goes, very well, let's bring your prisoners too. Yes, I will, you um, go first. He starts to set off first with two behind him, the others are waiting for you to proceed out. Um, okay. It's clearly just standard procedure not to let the prisoners go last. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, that's a weird, oh, weird procedure. All right, so we'll proceed along behind the watch commander and the two guards who are taking him down okay. to the prison. You basically, you carry along, uh, there's a corridor, there are doors coming off it, and there's a big door at the end, um, which one of them takes out a very large key 
really carefully, <laughs> like a really drunk person coming home and trying not to wake anyone up, <laughs> puts the key in the door and like turns it, opens it, and then like in out of deference to the watch commander, they let him go and he he proceeds down the stairs by himself, okay. uh, and a man goes with him, and then the rest of them are like start to wave you in. Mm-hmm. It's like okay. they're your prisoners. So you got the honour on this one. Is there one standing by the open door currently? Mm-hmm. We won't There's have to three. fight. We won't have to fight the ones in the cell at all. We can leave them. But if we waited until we were in the cell, then we'd be able to split the party, split the party spring an ambush, and spring and spring an ambush because we're able to slip our our sort of. So then we'd have three in the cell with how? Yeah, but the the non-prisoner side of the party is me, Meryl, Wen, and the friggin' Jester. <laughs> <laughs> so he might have hidden talents. <laughs> don't underestimate that Jester. I know he can do great things. Do you think it might be worth trying to persuade a few more of them to go in after the commander just to thin out the numbers a little bit more? Um, like, is yeah, there something... Or we could start, like, you could start kicking up a fuss. Do you want me to cause a scene? Yeah, and like, we need more guards to help get these prisoners down. Uh, yeah. yeah, like that? Uh, mm-hmm. Okay, so... Yeah? Yeah, you guys start kicking up a fuss and uh-huh. like, you knock, knock me and Merylwen and... Uh, Flannery to the ground, right. so that those other guards have to come into the cell. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How exactly are you communicating this plan to one another? Oh, through a game? series of eyebrow raises that we agreed on before. <laughs> mm. mm. I've got, I've got a spell um. message. Have you now? I've got cantrip. It's in fact a point at Corazon. Why okay. not? Sure. And bust out my new cantrip message. Okay. And I whisper, "Do you want me to kick off right here? Massive ruckus." And then... Understanding immediately, then, <laughs> I, I say, yes, I understand the plan now. Okay. Yeah. So, so say it. <laughs> no, I mean, you can I whisper it and I hear it. I hear whisper. it. Yeah, magic whisper. But you and I are exchanging glances like, I think they're having some sort of secret conversation. Okay, and then I point at, 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 at you, and then at Marilyn, and then at Flannery as well, and, and, and then at Egbert, and I just, just repeat the secret cantrip message. Yeah, Flannery before Egbert. <laughs> <laughs> Great, so great to be part of the team. Uh, <laughs> Flannery stares back at you and yeah. like, he doesn't actually do anything, but all you hear is just boom, 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 forget about him. Okay, so, yeah, yeah so the, the plan is that yeah. um, the three prisoners will like throw, like bust out of their chains, throw yeah. us off, yeah. uh, we'll act as if we've been knocked unconscious, so the other guards have to run in and escort them So we're going to get everyone in the cells. So we're going to try and get as many people as possible into, into the cells. The cell. Yeah. Okay. We good? Yeah. Dob and Egbert mm-hmm. and Prudence, yep. they push. I wind up a stage, stage like kind of fake headbutt. Yeah. And, and the headbutt you like, yeah, right a, a pro wrestling, in the solar plexus. A pro wrestling <laughs> forearm. And yeah. I take a bump off the wall. Yeah, and then I clothesline Meryl yeah. <laughs> And so we all and <laughs> but like a stage one, yeah. Um, and, okay. Flannery. And, and Flannery, and Flannery. What are you going to do to Flannery? He falls I'm, over I'm, of his own volition. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, oh, is this the game? Like what? Oh <laughs> god, he's such a pro. <laughs> Dob, Dob does a bridging Northern Lights suplex on Flannery. <laughs> and no, then we, he doesn't. <laughs> Uh, noisily, all the, all the while noisily. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. And we feign unconsciousness. Yeah. Uh, you'll never take me alive into that prison cell. We're not going I quietly. Die. You will need at least uh, at least ten of you to take this. Ten soldiers uh, to get me in that dungeon cell. Uh, you now you now have like a bunch of swords pointed directly like at your throat, and they're just like. <laughs> like, are you gonna? You're making a show of. Like countowing, like you're, mm. you're not. Yeah, we're like, okay. we're gonna. Yeah, okay, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, fellas, fellas. You kind of finished doing your like uh, professional wrestling mummery, <laughs> yeah. uh, and there are a series of blades just pointed like the tips at your throats. Okay, fellas. I'll, I'll go. I'll go quietly. Ish. Quieter than that. I'll go quietly. <laughs> In. They okay. whisper and point. Okay. okay. And I like do. A- Bit of a lunge, just just so that they want to come in yeah, yeah, and yeah. help secure us yep. a bit more. Like, I think yeah. so. I think you'll each have <laughs> one crazy. that's yeah. sort of like they spin you around and they start walking you in, mm-hmm. okay. and then three more go in, leaving two out in the corridor. Ah, you okay. guys, the sort of checking on on you, just being like, "You work, hey, are you all right?" I uh, I say, "Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Let me just uh, let me just close this door and lock it. We can unlock it when the other guys come back up. Just uh, just so no one tries to make a run for it. Yeah. Oh, good plan. They've probably got a key anyway. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so I uh, I lock the door. They've probably got a key anyway. 
We can no longer hear this. Can we? Oh, yeah. fine. Yeah. So I, uh, I lock the door. I take the uh, key out of the lock. I uh, go to stand up. Uh-huh. And then as I'm standing up, I flick the back of my head into the underside of the jaw of the guy leaning over me to oh. try and knock him unconscious. Woof. All right. <laughs> oh, boy. OK, uh, so that will be a strength. Um... Well, we're in combat. Are we in combat? Well, no. this, will, this will probably initiate it. Yeah. Oh. Initiate combat up here, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> see how it goes with us and the eight guards. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we'll take care of these two. Oh, okay. good. yeah, good. <laughs> yeah. Is it like a, a, a cell door made of bars or a, a door made of door? So it's a reinforced wooden door. Ah, oh, okay. So probably quite soundproof. I'd say. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Plus, if you can manage to keep it down, I'm sure they're not going to be making noise. Oh, that's true. Noise. They're not going to be shouting their heads off, are they? Not this bloody idiot cult. You're going to headbutt this guy. We're going to make that a strength athletics check. Uh, we'll say that their armor class is nine because you're specifically going for their head and they're not wearing any. Yeah. Okay, for under the jaw. Under the jaw. And, uh, right under the jaw. Ring his bell. All right. Yeah. Oh, Mm-mm. that's a three. Uh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, did I did I stand up too fast? I nearly got you. Uh-huh. <laughs> Crazy. Um, if <laughs> charisma persuasion check, please. Charisma yeah. persuasion check. You're looking to beat a thirty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's eight. Yeah. Oh, Corazon's luck. Oh. Finally ran out. He shoves Thought you and <gasps> hisses. Heretic! Oh no! And we are now in combat. I, draw I want everybody my to roll for initiative. Oh. We're actually going to do this in two groups mm-hmm. because uh, we need. To, basically, this fight's going to carry on in the corridor until you realise that there's a fight going on. Oh. <laughs> Does that okay. make sense? And yeah. we're on yeah. the other side of a reinforced door. Yes, you are. Yeah. And they're being room? quite quiet at the, yeah. at the minute. It won't take much. Oh, but okay. So you rolled what, 16? Yeah. 17. 17. 15. 17 plus 1 is 18. Dob. 8. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing just amazing, a, sweetie. Having a nice time. Yeah. Yeah. So. I'm just worrying about Flannery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly worried. Do you think he's hungry? <laughs> <laughs> he looked hungry. <laughs> Cold. <laughs> so we start off with. Um, Start off with Egbert, who is behind a reinforced door and doesn't know there's a fight going on. Okay. What in these three to six seconds are you thinking of doing? I'm going to quietly, under my be- breath, bless. Uh, uh, I'm going to bless um, Dob and Prudence. Uh. Both. <laughs> 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 it's fine, just weather it because it's going to give you uh, an extra d4 close. to your next throw that is an attack or a saving throw. Yeah. So. It, it does. <laughs> it feels real gross. Cthulhu like, is like, what are you doing? Mm, like, I'm sorry, Cthulhu. I feel so excited. <laughs> you, <laughs> you wait till I get you home. Yeah. <laughs> so that's uh, the spell. I'm, that's another one of my new spells. I'm going to bless uh, these people so that when we when we jump people, when they make an attack, they get an extra d4. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Out in the corridor. Uh, Corridorathon. Corridor. What are you going to do? <laughs> uh, I'm going to attack the guy that's right next to me with my rapier. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use a sneak attack because I don't need advantage on the roll if I'm within five feet of the person. Great. So roll it and your dexterity modifier and your proficiency bonus. That's okay. it. That's 15 plus 4 that's gonna be plus a 2. Uh, yes, because you're proficient with the rapier, right? Yes. Yeah. So their armor class is 15. What did you roll again? Uh, 15 plus 4 plus 2. Oh, perfect, fine. Uh, roll your damage. Okay, so that's 3d6. Uh, yes. Yes. Ooh, boy. Okay, so that's a 5, uh-huh. a 3, and a 1. Uh, so yeah, nine. he's... Uh, how exactly does he die? Because um, he's, <laughs> he's dead! Uh, I move so quickly and s- stealthily, I whip around him, cutting the air like Zorro, and then dash back into a fencer's stance. He looks down at himself and then he falls into three pieces, like uh, in that Resident Evil movie. Gross. Yeah, I guess. Cute. Yeah, that Resident gruesome. Evil. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Resident Evil uh, Penny Song. Dreadful that I read mm-hmm. once. Yeah. Very good. It's good. And uh, I do a little bow and I say, Your religion is dumb, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Excellent. Marilyn, you've just seen 
somebody get cut into three. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, oh, I didn't roll for Flannery. <laughs> Flannery doesn't have no initiative. Comic ballad about the situation. Yeah. Flannery. Great. Flannery's going before Dov anyway. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what are you going to do? There's, there's one more guard there. What are you going to do? I'm going to. <laughs> Marilyn's meat grinder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to turn into a bear. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> there's a bear in here! <laughs> I mean, oh my god, there's a bear! Why are you still, like, obeying the, the be quiet order? You're killing oh, yeah. them! But there's a bear in it, smell when, when, what? Did, you didn't mention you could turn into a bear! When did you pick this up? When did you turn into a bear? When did you kill this one? You could stay undercover. Okay, sorry. So I'm just freaked out. You should have mentioned you could turn into a bear. Does the armor, like, explode outwards? <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice. Uh, because... Bang. Because it just does. I'm going to do a multi-attack, mm -hmm. which is where um, I'm going to make two attacks, one with my bite and one mm -hmm. with my claws. Oh, oh God. Please do. <laughs> no wins meat grinder. <laughs> so, uh, the armor class is 15 that you're looking to beat. Uh, no. No. Well, you're like, well, you're, <laughs> you've, you've not been a bear. <laughs> Before that, these guys. Are there. <laughs> it's, you're being Stumbling a bear around around yeah. you. You're like you. It's, it's just a different experience, you know. Yeah. Mm. Like you just kind of like you sort of snap at him, and then you're like, "What is the range on this?" Mm -hmm. uh, so then you can try again, I assume, okay. with your multi attack. With your mm -hmm. pause. Okay. 11 plus 4 with your strength modifier is 15. That's more like it. You're getting mm -hmm. the hang of being a bear now. Yeah! yeah. 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 <laughs> She'll dry spanner. <laughs> that one's mobile. Bit, right? <laughs> 11 plus 4. How exactly do they die? <laughs> Messily, I imagine. I, um... Yeah, I just go... And then there's just shoulders. Swat his wow. head from his shoulders. Ooh. All right, that, so there's like a, a, a scraping noise. It's like one of the claws kind of cuts across the, uh, the breastplate. Um, and sort of like a wet crunch. And then a second one as the head just like rebounds off the wall. And then a <laughs> noise as the head hits the deck. Now, you did scream, like, are we retconning what you screamed or? Did you just scream, there's a bear, there's a bear, Meryl, when I didn't know you could turn into a bear? Yeah, I think I probably, I think <laughs> I think I probably would have kind okay. freaked out at that point. All right, either way, uh, the guards inside hear this and they're like, what is going on here? Uh, so the fight, I believe, is is probably very much on Oh, I say inside. to the guards, it sounds like there's a bear out there. They're noisy, you should probably go up and check. <laughs> <laughs> Shh. Uh, uh, Prudence, it is your turn to act. What are you right. doing? Message. <laughs> Hit me. There's a lot of people here. I'm thinking we need some sort of w wide ranging area of attack. You're with me. Okay, I'm worried about friendly fire. <laughs> God never worries about friendly fire. <laughs> Have you seen the tunic I know? <laughs> Only half a gold piece. <laughs> okay, I think these guys might just all, all like, you know, charge back up the stairs to find out about this bear that's suddenly here. So you're staying put? So I think I should stay in cover. Since we're not going fully loud yet, I just okay. sort of wriggle around in my irons and cast Blade Ward on myself. Okay. Uh, just in case I get stabbed. Yeah. That sounds good. Yeah. There's, there's, a, there's a guy. Prudence looking out for Prudence. <laughs> there's a guy pointing at rapier or whatever at me, so I'm Blade Ward. Quietly, then then I'm just holding on, maintaining stealth. Uh, now it's Flannery's turn to act. Um, oh my God! Oh Wait, boy. Can you explain the plan to Flannery. Uh, he's in ten seconds. This fight's going to be over. <laughs> oh boy! He does not do a backflip. Uh, he just lands in a big old pile of guts, uh, oh, God. and then sort of lands, and then suddenly notices there's a bear, and it's just like, oh, that's that's Flannery. Uh, we'll, uh, now we'll it's not. Flannery along. <laughs> Who else but Flannery? <laughs> Dob doesn't see this happen, but chuckles quietly to himself, imagining the capery of Flannery he's getting at. Classic Flannery. It is Dob's turn, though. I'm keen that we remain incognito while doing as much damage as possible. So I think 
it's time for Dob to try one of his new spells, <gasps> which is, um, I hope I'm going to use this appropriately. It's a little ditty that I call Crown of Madness. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, sounds uh, sounds I, jolly. I make eye contact with the guard who's pointing his sword at me. Okay. And I, so gently that he can barely even perceive it, but just hum a little lullaby that tells him what he should do is attack his allies. And that the one he should attack is the guard pointing a sword at Prudence right next to him. Just turn around and ram your sword in his back. <laughs> know the side of his throat, because he's not wearing a helmet. And he's not wearing a Okie dokie. Nope. <laughs> Alrighty. He is uh, enchanted, or charmed rather. He is fully under your control, and you want him to attack the dude next to uh, Prudence, right? Suddenly, side of the neck, sword. Okay then. Let's just, let's, we may as well do that now. And I'm going to act shocked. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, a palpable hit. Yeah. Oh, no. Dob, Dob stares around with her like butter wouldn't melt. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't kill the guy, but he does really just jab him in the neck. Oh. The guy goes down like blood is spurting through his fingers. <laughs> um, oh. uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's very nearly dead, basically. Uh, you, the person in front of you just like drops. As uh, you see it goes like, mm. Nice. It is now the turn of the guards. Mm. Um, we know what your guard's doing. So all of the guard, the five guards that were in a semicircle, four of them rush toward the door to try and get it open, except for one of them who rushes to see if the one that's just been stabbed in the neck oh. is <laughs> okay. Mm. Um, they throw open the door mm. and you hear an, an audible gasp from all of them, like, <gasps> and then a, <gasps> so really just, they gasp, because there's a heckin' bear in the corridor, mm. and a whole lot of mess. Oh yeah, there is. So that's... Bear mess. Welcome no way. <laughs> uh, the watch commander, the watch commander kind of, he's dithering, like he doesn't know whether to get out of his cell or not, because he's committed heresy, yes. but also he wants to help. <laughs> um, Tricky decision. In fact, uh, as he sort of he realizes how stuck he is, he just goes, "Oh no!" Oh. <laughs> <laughs> freezes, freezes to the spot, and his guards are like, <laughs> <laughs> and we go around the houses again. So we start off with Egbert. Uh, so uh, these guys are up the corridor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, remind me. Yeah, remind me. Is it some, up some stairs? Yes, it's, yeah. there are like three four steps. Of them, four of them in a line up the stairs. Okay, four of them in a line. Yeah. Uh oh. Did I tell you about my 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 breath, my fiery breath? You it's may have my fiery breath. This is your yeah. first paladin speech of the session. I can't believe yes. it. So I say to them, guys, look, I recognise that your intentions are good, but ultimately you've committed crimes against the people of this village, and let's not dwell on the crimes we've committed against you, because ultimately we've decided that we're above correct. the law. Not above the law, but just that our religious plan is, is better right than your religious, religious to your plan. religious plan. The correct one. Sounds yeah. like religion. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so, uh, I explained this about and I'm very, very sorry, but you are going to have to be smited and it's very polite of you <laughs> to line up in a very narrow corridor while that happens. Yeah, get ready to be smoothed. <laughs> Sporting. Get and smited. really, the bear is just preventing them from... Here comes the smoke link. Yeah, the smoke, it's about, let's, let's smite the hell out of these guys. Right. All right. Breath yeah, weapon. Get on with the smite link. Please do your breath weapon. Uh, well, rather, I have to make yeah, saving throws. Yeah, you have throws. to make a saving throw of 12 for each of your guards, presumably. Yep, and it's a dex one, and they do not get a dex bonus. Good. Okay, uh, one of them passed the saving check, so he okay. dives out the way, but still hits the deck quite loudly. Yes, uh, half as much. And crisply, because uh, he's <laughs> taking quite a bit of damage. The other three, I um, mean, are they turns to ash completely or...? Yeah, I mean, they, they seem to really, they're blasted to ash and, and all, that, all that you see is just their sort of glowing armour standing in place for a split second, glowing hot red. 
before it all tumbles to the ground and, and ash goes everywhere. And you can faintly hear them say, Egbert's religion was right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, it's always voices on the wind, really. Man, that's heat metal. Yeah. <laughs> wow, okay. okay. Great. Okay. It's Corathon now. Um, you're in the corridor next to a bear and <laughs> a jester. Cool. Uh, well, I'm in the corridor with the guards who... Um, is he dead? Yeah, oh, yeah there's, no, there's no guards. In you're in, yeah. you're in the corridor with some meat. Floor, right? All right. There's, um, so the situation is down the stairs, there's one badly crisped guard. Yep. Uh, all right, I'm just going to walk over to the crisped guard and just poke him with my rapier, try and finish him off. Okay. Right. Fine. Uh, the armor class is uh, 15. You should walk back again afterwards. <laughs> just. <laughs> <laughs> nope. That's 14. 14 plus your, uh, plus yes, you've plus definitely yeah. passed that. Okay. So uh, roll your damage, don't forget to add your dexterity modifier. Yeah. Oh yeah, which is a four, I think. As long as I get a one, this guy's dead. That's five. five. What do you know? <laughs> uh, yeah, that guy's dead. He just sort of, I just walk over and go. And it's then. kind of like just pressing the off button on a telly. Like he's just like, <laughs> and he's oh, gone. Like, oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Yeah. It's just gone. It's yeah. better this way because he was very. I gotta say, pissed. I'm so proud of how much murder. <laughs> <laughs> yep. How's you doing? I really feel like we turned a corner as a group. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Beryl Wen. <laughs> Beryl oh! Wen. Beryl Wen. <laughs> that was good. I was gonna go for Meryl. <laughs> <laughs> also good. Yeah, Meryl Wen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yay. Can um, you even fit through the door? <laughs> <laughs> After dark. No. Oh, no. Uh, how big does it say the bear is? You could put your head through. I think, yeah, we're looking at you just being like, ang, ang, ang. <laughs> like, in Isn't the it door. All ash just inside the door. Yeah. Can we have a sit <laughs> rest? <We've laughs> so, yes, there are four people left alive in okay. the room. There's through the through watch the uh, commander, yep. he's sort of like, eh in a cell, a guard looking at him being like, dude, come on. Yeah. Uh, there's a guy who... Um, he's on the floor who was stabbed. Has been stabbed, and then there's, there's a guy, guy who's been... There's yeah. basically yeah. second dob. Yeah. Between the bear, the crispening, the murder, and... Yeah, and these two, the more this has all happened within a minute, right? So these two are still blessed. Still blessed. Still this has happened good. within 12 seconds. <laughs> right, um, Ellen, with the amount of time it's taking you to decide, I have to ask, why the big pause? <laughs> <laughs> You're giving me claws for concern. <laughs> Look, we're all feeling impatient, we've just got to grin and bear it. <laughs> really, it's a sign of the times. Okay. She's I turn back in. <laughs> you get through the door, I turn back into... Uh, a sign of the times. Oh, very good. Yes, very yeah. Sorry, yeah. feeling a bit grisly. <laughs> <laughs> I turn back into myself. And I'm like, guys. That was a real Kodiak moment. <laughs> that's, Co that's, that's, the, that's the best one so far. Fair. Yeah, it was real quality. <laughs> They're that's not good. bears. All right with the puns. And then... That's not like you. You can now be the uh, polar opposite. <laughs> what are you over for? <laughs> I'm going to try out a new spell that I've got called Moonbeam. It sounds terrifying. Sounds hippie-ish. <laughs> um, <laughs> just you wait. Everyone join hands. And I'm going to use it against the guard, the two that are in the cell that are far away from oh, everyone. The captain and the, the captain. watch commander and his the, guard. That's the watch commander and his guard. The one who's not that's even fighting rank. us. Yeah, the confused one. Cool. You've got to take out the non-combatants. <laughs> Otherwise they might turn into combatants. So a silvery beam of pale light shines down a five foot radius, 40 foot high cylinder centered on a point within range. When a creature enters the spell's area for the first time or on a turn or starts its turn there, it's engulfed in ghostly flames Dang. that cause searing pain. Whoa! Ooh. Ghost flames! Oh, sounds so oh, hippie-ish, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> does it wow. do damage? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm getting the yes, it does damage. Searing pain, ghost flames cause damage. It, to be honest, it makes, no offence Egbert, but it makes the flame breath thing look like a piece oh, damn. of cake. Reconsider your religion. But 
Three guys just turned to ash and one turned into a, like a badly toasted mushroom. Not saying it's not effective, <laughs> yeah. just saying this is 2d10 damage on a failed oh, save roll. Oh, dang. Whoa, on a, whoa, okay, right. <laughs> All right, let's get Go it over it. with. Let's get okay. these guys over with. Okay. And no. <laughs> okay, please roll me 2d10. Or just, yeah, that twice. Five. Uh-huh. Six. Cool. <laughs> what exactly happens to them as they shuffle off this mortal coil? Oh, geez. Flannery Chaviori. <laughs> Basically, this kind of column of light is around them with the ghostly flames, and they kind of just melt away as if they're slowly being oh. burned by some kind oh. of air acid. <laughs> air acid. <laughs> Okey there. Well, it's like, it's like flames, <laughs> no but you can flannery. see through Don't them. Right. Um, they're basically being cooked very quickly, and there's nothing left of them. Like Don't an ice know? cream cone under a head, right? Yeah. Mm. Wow, yeah, Flannery's like just out in the corner of his host, because like... Like a kid that skinned its knee and suddenly wants to go home. Like oh, Flannery's Flannery. just like, oh no! I told you you'd all to learn to love Flannery. I feel like Flannery would get on well without the One of the guards trade. and the watch commander are now yeah melted. They're yeah, melted. So who have we got left? The charmed guy. We've got the charmed guy and, and the, the guy who's guy. been stabbed through the neck. In fact, I'm going to say quite comfortably now we're out of combat okay. because there's a guy who's been nearly incapacitated and a dude who's charmed to be a killing machine. Uh, All right. So I think the guy who's okay. holding his neck will just say something like, Sure. Okay, yeah, I get some pressure on that wound. <laughs> Can I, um, okay, so I've still got one. Uh, what are you gonna do with your thrall? I, Make him dance. We don't want, I don't want my thrall to kill the wounded guy. We might yeah. need him. I, um, I look at my thrall and, and hum a little melody that says like, you should dance into a cell and shut the door behind you. Yeah. All right. Uh, he takes a step to the left. And, and then, then he jumps to, to the, the right. right. <laughs> <laughs> he put his hands on his hips. And then yes, shakes his knees on time. He does. And uh, then he locks himself in a cell. Yes. Oh. <laughs> That's um, not how the song goes. <laughs> and he shuts the door like with a slight clunk and then there's a clunk. Um, and then... Now swallow the key. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's a really big key. <laughs> and um, just like, he sort of stands there for a... It takes like two minutes. Oh. And he's like a goose. It's just like... Oh, 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 oh he's been oh, gavaged oh, 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 with keys. It's halfway down. Actually, he's, 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 he's no longer in his thrall, he's just trying to get it down. Yeah, he's not just like, well, yeah. I've come this far. He's already halfway <laughs> down, he's selfish. <laughs> if it takes two minutes, then when he's halfway through swallowing, yeah, he should be doing? released from the spell. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but, sure. he's, uh, but he's committed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, can one of you heal up the next stab guy? The only way out Can I do that also? Can I heal wounds the We're out of combat, right? Next stab guy. Heal him up, get him to Yeah, absolutely. All right. Having enjoyed watching the guy swallow a key, <laughs> which will buy us some time, uh, I kneel down by the injured guard and I lay on my healing hands and I use heal wounds. Lovely. Do you want to uh, do you want to give them the guys in the cell a little lecture about how their religion is bad? No, no, they probably heard it just before I crystal those guys. Okay. Uh, you do heal up the guy. That just happens. That's fine. He's. We're going to appear massively inconsistent, aren't we? <laughs> Wow. We're like torching some people wow. and like healing others. Quickly, like he's healed up, but like we should we tie him up. Sharpish. We're gonna, we're gonna get him in a jail cell, we're gonna hustle him in. Yeah. All right, we bundle him into another jail cell and we slam the door this time. Okay. Is there a key? Uh, yes, there is. All right, lock it. Uh, you lock That's him in. Jail. Cool. We, um, um, we swallow You swallow the key. I swallow okay. that key. Uh, just as you've all finished watching Dom swallow <laughs> the key, uh, the entire <laughs> castle seems to shake. Oh. oh, you remember they said consequences? Oh, yeah. yeah. And there is a thunderous roar oh. that echoes down the chamber, followed by like a bam, like smashing noise. Uh. And then another smashing noise, like bam. I, I go. And you hear <laughs> both of the guys in the cells just drop their heads and close their eyes and go, we told you. No, we didn't you did it, we asked it, you someone, someone told you. Yeah, yeah, someone we should have told you. We they asked the guy, and he said, consequences. Uh, what does that even mean? mean? Be specific. Oh my God, what are we, what is that? What's that sound? We tried to make sure it stayed asleep. If it's a bloody griffin, <laughs> I'm really angry, it was very specific. I hear the bloody griffin. It's not griffins a bloody griffin. Um, well, on this one. 
So then one of them grips the bars and just goes, let us out, we'll help. Come on, please. You can't just leave us in here, we'll die. I mean, these guys are scrubs, let's let them out. If they turn on us, we, we, kill can, them wreck, too. we can wreck them. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, okay, uh, um, don't be you, squeeze the key. <laughs> the key's all oh. in the dog. Uh, yeah. No, I, I, I pick the You get the key the out of the dog. Okay, all right. Do I need to dex it or what? Uh, no, let's just say that happens. Okay. Never make somebody roll for something you're prepared, not prepared for them to fail. Okay. Um, you let the guards out uh, and they're like, come on, and they start charging down the corridor. Yeah! Um, more you, um, info, please! You emerge, well, you don't really need much more info because you emerge into the room as the floor grating I mentioned earlier explodes upwards. Oh yeah, the grating! And a big old owlbear crawls. <laughs> owlbear! Yeah! There's an owlbear! Yeah! The owlbear Camus. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> He's Owlbear the fifth musketeer. Yeah, exactly. Wait, very quickly, let's roll for initiative. Ooh. Oh gosh. 18, okay, 18, great. 18, 17, 17 in 13, total. 2, 2, Marilyn? Uh, 23. 23? Whoa. Okay, wow. so. Hold yeah, yeah. up. Turn back into a bear and Meat find grinder. <laughs> Grind them up. <laughs> Sing to it the song of your yeah. people. Marilyn is first mm -hmm. in the turn order. What are you going to do? There is an owlbear in the room and two guards that are like, with swords, like, ah, oh, shit, we're gonna die. Whoa. And our entire religion has just come crashing down around our ears. Can we just take a second to point out that those guys were actually right, and we just murdered a bunch yeah, of people who Yeah, but their religion is just based on just one. Yeah, yeah. they went to the place, they brought the owlbear. Oh, did they? They must have bunged it in the well, dungeon. Right. In that case, like, yeah. all right, Mess this owlbear, let's f it up. Okay. New motto. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this owlbear. <laughs> Not sure that's going to fit on the t-shirt. That would be Latin. I'm going to try and cast animal friendship. Oh, oh. God. oh. We're going to kill an owlbear. It's going to be amazing. So lame. I was already mounting its head on my I wall was, in I'm my head. Sorry. Hey. What? Um, anim animal friendship. Oh my God. <laughs> if, it, if, it, okay. if it's not smart enough, it, I can trick you uh, into doing it. It does look quite thick. Does it? Yeah, look at it. It's an owl bear. It's got the okay, intelligent owl work? eyes. We could mount owl the head on the front of the Joyful Damnation as a figurehead. It would look amazing. It's going to start like an to owl bear really skull. quickly. We'll, go, we'll clean, clean it. It would off. just look like a big owl skull. Yeah, okay. it would look amazing. That's still quite cool. Animal friendship, first love enchantment. Oh, uh, the spell lets you convince a beast you mean it no harm. Joy foul damnation. Choose a beast you can see within range, which is 30 feet. It joy must see and hear you. If the beast's intelligence is four or higher, the spell fails. Otherwise, the beast must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or be charmed by you for the spell's duration which is 24 hours so what you're saying is if this works we've got an owlbear friend for 24, 24 hours. hours yes so what can you if, do an owlbear for 24 hours if so the um in the town if the beast intelligence is for <laughs> decent <laughs> ah, if the beast intelligence is four or higher the spell fails and our bear's intelligence is three. Oh, Amazing. so what? I have to make a wisdom saving throw, or be charmed. The the owl bear <laughs> will be charmed. Books you're chucking <laughs> in. Yeah. Surely this can't be right. The yeah. intelligence yeah. modifier yeah. on an owl bear is minus four. <laughs> <laughs> Your spell difficulty is what? Eleven. Eleven. So what do you have to beat? I'm going to roll this one in the open. Okay. Go on. That's a six! Oh my god! <laughs> Ellen, we don't get to fight an owlbear now! Oh. Let's kill it anyway! Yeah, what let's... do you say to the owlbear? Hey, hey buddy! Oh my <laughs> god! Is, is everything okay? What, what's going? What's it's wrong? Like, Why are you really angry? Is it too noisy? <clears throat> what if we try to find you somewhere nice and quiet? God. Yeah? Hmm. Like surely, it, this place is going to be really noisy because there's loads of people. I think we just mm. need to take you somewhere where there's no people. Yeah. It sort of like nuzzles you, like... Oh. <laughs> 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 I put my bomb <laughs> back in my pocket. I sheath my rapier and roll my eyes. Oh. Listen, nobody's more pissed off about this than me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so now there's an owl bear that's just mates with everyone. All cool. right. Well, do you want to take I it? I mean, off you are rubbing your hands together. I cast agonizing blast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. I got spells. <laughs> I'm second. They're multiplying. 
This Sorry, man's mate. gonna be a menace in 24 hours. Someone's gonna start another religion in another town, and then yeah, all oh, the yeah, cycle begins so in <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> cool. Um, At least no one named it. I had. What was it called? Owlsworth. <laughs> oh no, Owlsworth. Uh, tell me about Agonising Blast. I'm it's trying to look at it. Agonising to Blast is a new and more painful <laughs> form of Eldritch Blast. Flannery capers into the room. He What's is now, Flannery got to say? He's now wearing a scarf made of uh, small intestine. Ah. He's like, we could bring it to the lady and she could start a menagerie for the troop. Like a, another warm-up act with an owl bear. Oh, people would pay big money to see an owl bear if we uh, negotiate we a percentage of that. It. You want to sell it into slavery? Ooh, I'm cool with that. Yeah. Lady Fienge would be very pleased. Put a uh, put a muzzle on it. It's probably quite insane. I think an owl bear would fetch a higher no, price. No, 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 the owl bear was like, Ooh. I just, I, I agree. I, no, no, no. Plan. All right, let's no, go. Right. I don't, no, no, I don't think we should sell it. I think if we're going to fight it, we should fight it. If we're going to just let it go, we should let it go. We can't imprison it. Can't put it in captivity. Why Come on. Why? Because, like, what if someone put you in captivity? I'd love it. No, you <laughs> wouldn't. I think it was good. You were just saying that to make me think we should imprison no, no, the owl bear. The owl bear, despite having an intelligence of three for crying so out stupid. loud. So stupid. Seems to sort of sense the room and sort of just stands next to to Marilwen and they're both kind of like. <laughs> we right. can't kill this owl. Oh, fine. All right, let's, right. let's just let it. the owl bear no, go. No, let's sell it. All right. Okay. 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 No. Okay. Oh. We we sell the owl bear. Yeah. And then in the middle of the night we let it go. No. When she's not there, and then we get the money and as it's free. As long as we get the money. I can hear you. Sure, Flannery. <laughs> you, we could have killed you so many times. <laughs> You're not going to rat us out. There, I feel like it's also, this owlbear is super, super dangerous. We're very, very lucky to have it on a leash, as it were. I don't feel like we can just release it either. Like in 24 hours, like that, the blood of whatever it does after that, that's on our hands. Like it will just charge straight back into town and this time it's not going to be like, you know, everyone's going to be rejoicing owl that the owlbear's gone. It's going to go absolutely hog wild eating villages. It's going to go absolutely town owl people. It's on everyone. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Meryl, when you got us into this mess, mess we're with... You've What's your long-term plan for Owlsworth? Like, take us somewhere far away from people that... Won't Where can we get anyone? in 24 hours that it can't get back in much less time? Do you feel like if we took it somewhere secluded, it would stay there and not come back and harass people? If it found somewhere quiet, it would just live there and be Does happy? It, is it just, has it just been unhappy because it's been in captivity, Meryl? Is, is it, it just, just sad that it was secu- you know, it was, it was in this dungeon yeah. because of the religion and maybe if it was free, we, it would just hunt small voles and things. We, I, think, I think we take it somewhere quiet and it'll be happy and it won't bother people because the thing that's been making it go crazy is being, is being around people who are making noise. Johnny's reading about how owlbears are naturally furious. I mean, <laughs> as much as I want to fight an owlbear, I also only have not much... I'm trying to say this in a non-meta way. I've got 21 hit points, I want to find Albert. <laughs> <laughs> Merylwen isn't going to forgive us if we stab this Albert to death. So, no. Merylwen, what do you want to do? I think we need to get the Albert far away from people. And will, will you stay away, not talking as my friend, just talking as an Albert? Hang on, can Real you, talk, can you, you have, have you done the ritual to talk to... Yeah. Yes, yes, I've done the ritual. Okay, fine. Halsworth kind of looks at the floor for a while. You can see him really thinking. He just goes, stay away, people. Yeah, yeah. really good idea. Really yeah. Good idea. Good. Oh. Okay. I walk back into the room and open the storeroom that has the wheels in it. It's the second door on the right. The second door on the right. And then I cast heat metal on the wheels so that the gold melts off. So we can at least keep the gold. Ooh, yeah. Okay. So you, like chisel, you chisel off the, uh, the gold from the floor. Uh, the steel underneath has been uh, exposed, uh-huh. mm-hmm. uh, and the, the wheels, the wheels are, are still functioning. Oh, cool. All right, so we take the wheels, we stow the gold, mm-hmm. uh-huh. uh, and yeah, we take that with us. Um, Can we all right, parade you... through the streets to much rejoicing? Yeah. Oh, way. yes. 
Uh, Prudence, Victory you should march. probably bellow using your terrifying voice to tell everyone that it's fine to be now noisy again. Although that will still freak out the owlbear, even though it's... He hates noise, oh, doesn't yeah. it? Okay, let's keep it down. Like, Victory we're... March. Oh, sure. Keep right. your cap. Silent your Victory on. March out of town. Yeah, wait, I use... Um, what? Uh, minor illusion to change the banners on the castle to say it's okay to be loud once we've all Nice! Nice! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Very, very good. Says, get down. So, yeah. Get down. Cool. So you leave the town uh, as you start back up toward uh, the the stalled um, wooden omnibus oblong. Yeah. oblong. Um, uh, you start to hear hubbub coming from the town for the first time in who knows yeah. how long. Yeah. Uh, and as it you only approach, took the deaths of about 15 or 16. Yeah. Uh, Flannery capers up uh, to the door. I oh, oblong. Love kill um, Flannery. Pop, 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 pop. He uh, capers in and fetches out the lady Fiange. Fiange. Uh, Marilyn, can you get the owlbear to lift the, the thing up so we can fit the wheels? Oh, I turn into a bear as well, and we both take up on either oh, side. Bear, so right, bear a bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fine. We, we fit uh, the steel uh, wheels to the um, to the carriage, and we say, uh, "Don't this, what happened to the yeah, gold? Don't happen to the gold? We found it like found them like this." Oh, don't worry. I'm I'm absolutely delighted. The wheels of steel have returned to the Fienge bus. And now we can continue our tour as travelling musicians across the land. Oh, really? right. Would you say the Fienge bus is coming now? Yes. Oh, it certainly is. The wheels of steel are turning, are they? And everybody's well, jumping. They, still, they soon will be, yeah. I imagine. How did you not twig him? You've probably done us. Well done, Johnny. Oh. <laughs> that well, was I can't believe how the many hours we had to wait for that punchline. Taste bad. Uh, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> um, and uh, yes, Lady Fiange says oh, the tour will continue. I mean, uh, to be honest, I assume you took the gold, but that's fine. Considerate payment for your services rendered. Hooray. Is the owl bear for sale? Well, no. I mean, how much would you pay for an owl yes. bear? Yes. No. And okay. How about we buy Flannery? Trade for Flannery. No. Oh, now we've got Flannery, you idiot. No deal. No deal. No deal. No deal. Oh. No. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Try telling Flannery that. No. Um, so <laughs> uh, the lady Fianga gets back on the Fianga bus, and uh, <laughs> the the troop oh starts to travel in toward the town of Inkwater to bring them the greatest <laughs> concert that has ever been seen in the history of the town. Especially now they can enjoy noise like music again. Um, and as they as they leave, the owlbear raises its head and honks a <laughs> in farewell and then just tears off into the forest. Uh, you're pretty sure he won't attack any humans. And uh, you know what? You're back where you started, but you, you feel pretty good about yourselves. Yeah. Uh, and you killed a whole bunch of people. Oh, really good. Gold. <laughs> nice. So, well done, everyone. Thank you, everyone, so much for watching. Uh, thank you a lot to The Loading Bar here mm. in uh, East London for letting us film down here. You guys are awesome. Come and check them out. Have some drinks here if you're in London. And to Johnny yes, for running the course. game. To Johnny, Johnny from Eurogamer. <laughs> Go check those guys out. Everyone in the world, check for out Eurogamer. For trolling us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, I want to say five hours. Yes. Yeah, pretty much five hours. Yeah, and also thank you to Bendix from the Eurogamer team for our amazing character art as well. Uh, but that is it for this adventure. We hope you enjoyed. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe for lots more of this sort of thing in the future. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye. <laughs>